Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 7 Let's Play. As we um, we have a brand new clean slate. Once again, all four builders are done. The laboratory is also done. And I have a new army composition to play around with today. Although I'm not too sure how successful it will be. Because it kind of requires clan castle troops. And I don't have any clan castle troops because I've never joined a clan. So, this is going to be an interesting day. Uh, I just have to say it. I'm not feeling confident. I'm not. I'm going into this video expecting it to go badly. But I'm not going to say that I... I, I don't know. <laughs> I really hope it goes well, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. So anyway, let's go. Let's stop talking about it. And let's start doing something about it. Alright, I'm going to go into my progress base. I need to spend some loot before anything else happens. Okay, I've got max loot. So, let's go into my... Laboratory. Uh, I've got no more spells. I could upgrade the minions, but honestly, I've got max elixir, so I need to upgrade something elixir based. And I'm thinking wall breakers. Uh, occasionally, wall breakers are essential for three starring. And if they're not upgraded, sometimes they're too weak and they can't get it done. Wall breakers are essential. So let's upgrade these guys. 750,000 elixir, two day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And I've still got too much elixir from the season bank a while back. So, and I've got nothing else to spend elixir on. I'm literally like completely done. So, unfortunate, right? Also, I did a lot of upgrades off camera. You know, the little cheaper upgrades I said I would. So, you know, the cheapest upgrade left uh, is like an eight hour upgrade, not like a 30 minute upgrade anymore. So, that, that helps a lot. Also, I think these mortars are done. Yes, these mortars are done. And I think maybe wizard towers? Yeah, the wizard towers are done too. Nice. Uh, these are things that I upgraded in a uh, previous episode, maybe last episode, and wasn't sure if it was maxed out, but it obviously is. So this is a good thing. This is a great thing. So we'll move these guys across, and uh, then let's upgrade some more defenses, shall we? I've got loads of gold, and it needs to be spent. Uh, so what's the most expensive gold upgrades? Just curious. Uh, one million. Okay, one million is not bad because I've got four builders and four million loot. So this is a good thing. So let's actually upgrade both of these Teslas. I believe, um, ooh. Oh, interesting. Uh, dude, one of them's level one and one of them's level two. Level three is maxed. So I could technically max out this Tesla right now. Perfect, right? Let's do it. Uh, well, one million gold, 16 hour upgrade and three, two, one, bam. Sweet. All right, so you, my friend, are going to go up here. Perfect. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just upgrade this Tesla level two because I'm in the mood to do some upgrading. All right, eight hour upgrade, 750,000 gold in three, two, one, bam. All right, so now I'm going to save the other two builders for later. Let's now try these hogs. All right, hogs at Town 07, again, like I said in the last episode, are essential for learning how to play the game. Okay, for higher level stuff, you're going to need to understand hogs because it's just essential. Um, I know a lot of people that learned the similar type of strategies using balloons. They're, they're good too if you want to try them instead, but I like the hogs better. So, you'll notice I've got eight archers and eight wizard towers. Or wizards, not wizard towers. That'd be cool to bring wizard towers to an attack, but no. Uh, so, eight wizards, and this is mostly to see if there's a clan castle and to kill it if we need to. And then, of course, we get the hogs for destroying the base. Now, uh, you gotta kill the defenses. That's what the hogs are all about. Destroying the defenses. So, if we don't take out all of the defenses, this will look really, really bad. We're not gonna three-star if we can't get all the defenses down. So, I'm a little hesitant about this. Uh, but, you know, if we get lucky, find a base with tons of loot, and maybe no clan castle troops, I think we'll do okay. So... Uh, I think that's what we just found. 585,000 uh, uh, gold. 585,000 gold. Lots of elixir as well, though I don't need that necessarily. So, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to deploy a hog. A single hog. And we're going to see if there is a clan castle. There is no... Okay, there's no CC troops. This is fantastic. So, let's do a king trade. King's going to take out the king. By the way, got to love that level 5 king. Have I ever used Iron Fist? On in, on this account, I don't think I. If I did, I don't remember. Either way, watch this. Boom, baby, big and strong, taking out that level one king. Now we got a few def uh, distracted defenses, so let's actually get these hogs in here. I'm gonna use the wizards for cleanup, actually. 
And, um, let's, uh, yeah, let's just watch over. So I've got to heal over the hogs if they're in the range of splash damage. That's giant bombs, wizard towers, even mortars, possibly. Uh, so I've got two more heal spells. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal right there over that group. I don't think the group on the right necessarily needs me, because look at this wizard tower came over and started targeting the group on the left. It's, uh, it's ideal to watch your hogs and make sure that... Uh, they're healed anytime they're near wizard towers, and that is what we just did. So that is going to be a three-star, guys. Um, easily, easily going to be a three-star. I'm going to throw in my wizards and my archers down there, too, just to clean up. I'm going to save a heal spell. I don't need to use it. And, um, again, a, a three-star for us. Beautiful stuff. Now, this could have been a fail if we had brought dragons. I feel like um, if you have a semblance of, of talent, you know, or maybe skill, there is a difference between the two. I don't have much talent, but I do have a little bit of skill. Uh, then you could do really, really well with dra with hogs. They're actually better, I think, fundamentally, than dragons are. So there you go. Easy three-star. If there was a clan castle, I would have been able to show you how to destroy that, but we've done it in the past, especially on other videos, other series. But there you go. There's a three-star, over 500,000 gold, almost 600,000. And we actually got a pretty decent amount of dark elixir as well, which I don't necessarily need. But why not, right? Why not? So, um, I've got my other hogs ready to go. This time we'll attack without a king, just because to show you he's not actually essential. And, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm going to try to find another base with a pretty decent amount of gold. That's my main focus right now. And, uh, and yeah, it's going to be good. So, hogs, absolutely epic. you got to watch those things. Dragons are interesting because they go and attack whatever's closer. That's what you're more used to. But if you're using hogs then they go for the next defense. It's actually easier to predict where hogs are going to go so that you can know where to put your heal spells. And it's absolutely essential if you don't remember anything else besides this. This is what you need to remember about hogs. You have to put your heals in front of the hogs, not on top of them. Does that make sense? Now, if they're already in the range of a wizard tower, you might want to put them in the heal, but you want to put the heal in front of them so that they continue to heal as they go and progress through their base. That's that's the, the ultimate goal for um, for any hog attacker. So I'll show you guys another example of that. Uh, at this point, I don't care what loot the base has as long as... Actually, this is a pretty decent base. It will probably have a CC. This one's definitely one of those more living, awake type of bases. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the... CC Lord. Let's just try this, okay? Hog. Yeah, there is a flipping dragon. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Archer. Or that. Uh, pull that dragon out of there, please. Get that dragon away from all defenses. Yes. There we go. Okay, so I've I've pulled the dragon out. So now I'm gonna choose my archers and surround the dragon. With the archers and the wizards. Now there should... Stop targeting the spell factory! Know your priorities! There we go. Okay, so the dragon's now dead. I've I've now showed you guys how to destroy the dragon. Now I'm going to send in the hogs. I've spread them out a little bit because this base is quite wide. Okay, uh, let's dr uh, drop a heal right there because there was a giant bomb. There's also a wizard tower. Um, I'm going to actually forsake this group of hogs and focus mostly on this one. So let's drop another heal. And remember, notice I'm putting the heals in front of the hogs. It's essential. If you don't do that, then you might as well kiss your hogs goodbye. But then you get bacon, so I guess that's a prior that's a benefit, right? Uh, but the, uh, the, the one problem is, yet again, splash damage. The other problem is this king following us around. So I've kept the heals on the hogs, uh, especially in the face of splash damage. And now it'll be all about these hogs and the uh, and the cleanup. So hopefully we get a split here because we get some stuff in the middle, some stuff on the outside. Good split. There we go. Most of the hogs going into the core. These hogs, now that all the defenses are gone, they're going to start targeting the king. So watch this. King will step up. He'll aggro them. The, the hogs will step up and take him out. And they're actually pretty good at it. Look at this. He's down. That was a max king, dude. So that was awesome. So now the town hall will go down to this group in the core, and then the ring on the outside will go down to the ones that kind of split off. So we should end up with a three star with all the hogs kind of converging, conversing, converging. There we go, converging right there in the middle, kind of near. I'm I'm expecting probably uh, that that elixir storage area, roughly. 
So there you go, hogs. Uh, we took out a max dragon to, to get it done, and it worked. And I had no king. I had no clan castle troops. Um, this was a fully alive base. I mean, I think this was a perfect example of how essential hog riders really are at Town Hall 7. And Town Hall 8, too. I mean, you can three-star any base at Town Hall 8 with hogs. And I can say that confidently because I've done it a million times. But there we go. So there is the three-star. They all ended up on the elixir storage and then went to the elixir collector. So... Anyway, three star hype in the in the in the comments. Um, again, very very big fan of um, of Hog Riders at Town Hall Seven. So there we go. Good loot, good trophies, and just overall successful. So now that I'm back here, what else should we upgrade? Obviously the mortar, right? The mortar is essential uh, because it's splash damage, and splash damage is king at Town Hall Seven. So let's go ahead and upgrade this mortar. It has several levels to go. I think this is actually the cheapest upgrade on the base right now. Uh, but 32,000 gold, eight hour upgrade. Like I said, cheapest upgrade, still an eight hour upgrade. This is overnight. So that means tomorrow morning, this builder will be available and I can upgrade the mortar again. Maybe off camera, maybe on camera. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So 32,000 gold, eight hour upgrade to three, two, one, bam. And you know what? I'm going to move this one down and straighten things out a little bit. What else can I do? What about this giant bomb? Giant bombs are death. Death to a hog army, right? If somebody attacks me with hogs, I don't want them to survive like I just did. So I'm gonna upgrade this giant bomb to level two. I believe level two is maxed, but I'm gonna, I don't know. I haven't done the research. I may do it between episodes because I'm getting tired of not knowing. Uh, so we'll see. Let's upgrade this giant bomb, guys. Six hour upgrade, 75,000 gold in three, two, one, bam. And I'll move this across because I think it's maxed, but I'm not entirely sure. And I don't have any other giant, oh, actually. There you go. Never mind. I do have a max giant bomb. It's level two. So I know that this one's now done because it's going to level two. Perfect. Very good. Making moves. Figuring out this whole game of Clash of Clans. I like it. Awesome. So that giant bomb's going to max. Uh, what else did we upgrade? A Tesla going to max. We got another Tesla, another mortar. Great progress in today's video. And then, of course, the uh, the wall breakers, too. And I like wall breakers with hogs. If I can add three or four wall breakers with hogs, it gives me a way to get my king inside the base if I need to. So I do want the wall breakers to be upgraded. Also, a uh, little bit of a tidbit. I included the hogs because I don't need Dark Elixir anymore. So why not spend Dark Elixir, show off a new army, a better army, and um, have fun with it? So there you go. 1,088 Dark Elixir, supposedly, to run that exact army. Let me know if you try it out in the comments of today's video. It's absolutely amazing. And once again, if you learn how to use it, it'll set you up for success in future Town Hall levels. So, uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today. This episode of our Town Hall 7 Let's Play. Unfortunately, I cannot spend any more loot, so I'm going to be a big, juicy target going forward, but, you know, I'm starting to get used to that. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And join the hashtag KlausFamily. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications and become a member for early access to videos ad-free. You can check out the link in the description to join and become a member. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator using the creator code. If you'd like to support me, then use code Klaus. I greatly appreciate that. And, of course, you want to use the code before you buy anything. That includes gold pass, gems, whatever. Um, and once you do use it, remember that it expires every seven days. So before you buy something, always make sure that you are good to go. Here's how you double check that. Go into your shop and you look for the little white C below your red X. And as you can see, there is no white C below the red X. Mine has expired. So you could use a link in the description that does it automatically or you can input the code manually and here's how you do it you go into your settings go to my uh more settings and scroll down to the very bottom under create a boost hit enter code and put in code klaus and you're good to go or whoever's code you choose to use but again greatly appreciate it and a huge blessing if you choose to use mine and there you go guys that's all for me remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time